Okay guys, got some morel mushrooms here and some turkey. We're fixing to batter it all up, get it fried, kind of show you the process. We picked mushrooms today, so you always gotta have some turkey with your mushrooms, in my opinion. And what, I'm, what I like to do is take it and cut right down the middle of it, long ways, split it like that. On the smaller mushrooms, I'll leave it like that. This one's a little bigger than, than what I like for doing that, so I'm gonna go ahead and split it one more time. And then what I'm gonna do, take these in the house, rinse them off, and uh, put them in an egg wash. Then I'm gonna batter them. I've got a little Ziploc bag with some flour. I'm gonna add some Tony Saturies to it, and we'll fry them up. Another really big, big mushroom right there. That's pretty big for, for what I like, but uh, hey, they're good, you gotta eat them. All right, trying to get my batter situated. I told you I had a Ziploc full of just regular old flour. And uh, now I've got this Tony, Tony Saturys Creole seasoning. This stuff is really good. It usually it makes me sneeze every time I open it. But I'm just pretty liberal with it. Bunch of it in there. I like some seasoning. Okay. Now I like to just kind of shake it up a little bit. <coughs> Every time, man, it, man, it chokes me up. But shake it up a little bit and get it all blended and mixed in there. Now we're ready to put some turkey or mushrooms or whatever we're going to fry in there. Uh, I think we're going to fry the turkey first and then we'll do the mushrooms. So I got this little bit of whole milk and I got some eggs here. I'm gonna crack them, put them in there and then we'll stir them up, have a little egg wash. Think. I think that'll do us. I'm gonna do one more. All right. Now I'm gonna whisk that up all together, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more Tony Satries in there. gonna give us something to coat our turkey with. We'll make it flour stick so we can fry it up. We've got my grease already heating. We'll be good to go as soon as we as soon as we batter up the turkey we'll start frying. I'm just gonna start throwing chunks of turkey. About that size is what I like. We'll start throwing them in there. fry all this up. It's been in the refrigerator a while. I need to get rid of it. So. A lot more of it there than I was expecting, so we may have a lot of pieces in.
So we're gonna do the same thing with our morels. We're gonna throw them in there. Give them a good soaking in some milk and egg. I'm gonna go over to the same tree where I threw my spores out at. I'm gonna throw all these pieces back out. I don't know if it's actually gonna make any more morels grow, but it can't hurt this thing. So while we're waiting on our grease to heat up, I was gonna show you my secret seasoning sauce that I have for dipping. And I'll go ahead and whip some of it up real quick. It's just three simple ingredients. Start off with ranch. It's kind of the biggest part of it. And then I put some more Tony Satchers. We put it on everything. Just put a liberal amount in there, depending on how spicy you want it. And then we finish it off with the McElhenney green pepper sauce. And me and my buddy just got to playing around one night cooking turkey after we got through hunting and doing some cooking and wanted something different for dipping. And I'm telling you, this stuff is phenomenal. It, it's a great sauce. It just kind of kind of looks like ranch with a little bit of season or uh, Tony Satchers in it, but that green chili, man, it just makes it good. It's a great sauce to dip mushrooms or turkey in. So I've just got my old Blackstone tailgate grill sitting out here with a tin full of oil on it, vegetable oil. I'm waiting on my grease to get to 350. We're getting really close. And I'm gonna start dropping in turkey. So if you'll notice, these things are sizzling pretty good. When they start getting close to done, it kind of starts quieting down. You don't hear as much sizzle. It's kind of an idea of when it gets done. So they are uh, pretty much done. You see they're not sizzling anymore. And they look really good, crisp. I put them over here on a paper towel and then I salt them while they're still hot. But they look really good. I'm ready to bite into them. Let that grease stay hot. Get ready for the mushrooms. We can put them in and then we'll uh, do some tasting. These rails are pretty much done. Sure look pretty. With a little grease. A couple of those big ones I'm gonna let keep kind of bubbling a little bit. Sure enough, get them done. These are Morels and Turk. Got time to tear into them. They're good. How was the mushrooms? How good? Do we get a thumbs up? Hey, <laughs> good job. Mama, how was the mushrooms? Oh yeah, 10 out of 10. Grandma, how are they? Very good. <laughs> Must have been pretty good because we don't have many left. <laughs>